Stuart,、yes. I know you are a fish loving person.、Yeah. How do you like your Thai? Well, my favourite would be as sashimi.、Mm -hmm. That way I don't have to worry about the bones. How about you? Well, I have three favourites、oh. as sashimi, grilled, and in soup. So basically, Thai in any form. You're right. In Japan, the Red Sea bream is called the king of fish for its beautiful appearance and delicious taste. Prepared as sashimi, Red Sea bream has a slight sweetness and firm texture. It's used as a sushi topping as well, and a rather expensive one at that. It can also be seasoned with salt and grilled whole. Many people like to place slices of raw red sea bream on rice and pour hot green tea over them. This allows the savoury essence of the fish to be released into the tea. Because of its rich flavour, the Japanese have always considered red sea bream one of the most delicious kinds of fish. Another use for red sea bream is as an offering to the gods of Shinto. The Red Sea bream has long been regarded as an auspicious fish, and used in all kinds of celebrations. Here, even one of the betrothal gifts exchanged between two families has a sea bream-shaped decoration on it. The Red Sea bream is considered auspicious because of its colour. Red is a lucky colour in Japan. Today. Aquaculture accounts for 80% of the Red Sea bream consumed in Japan. Over the years, sea bream farmers have developed various techniques to give the fish their characteristic bright red colour. One ingenious idea is to place black covers over the pens. Farmed red sea bream are exposed to more sunlight than wild ones, which live deep underwater. So the covers are used to protect the fish in the pens from getting sunburned. Another ingenious idea is to give them special feed. This is necessary because ordinary artificial feed makes their skin tone dull. An extract of a certain type of red flour is mixed into the feed. To boost the fish's redness, it's thanks to these aqua farming techniques that beautiful red sea bream reach consumers around the country. The red sea bream is a good-looking, good-tasting fish, a symbol of good fortune, and an integral element in the Japanese diet. Stuart,、yeah. any comments on the video? Well, it was interesting to learn that 80% of domestic red sea bream are now farmed. Yes, that's been steadily increasing since the 1950s and 60s.、Mm. So it's now possible to acquire the fish at more reasonable prices.、Mm. But the wild ones are still regarded as the best, and they are still expensive. I see. You know, I was interested to note that in the Japanese translation of the video clip script,、mm -hmm. uh, the names Tai and Madai were both used,、mm -hmm. and this week's theme is Tai in Japanese. But doesn't Tai refer to any type of sea bream? Well,、uh, strictly speaking, yes.、Mm. Uh, but when people say Tai, they are generally thinking only of Madai,、mm. uh, which is red sea bream in English.、Mm. Uh, what's really interesting is that、uh, several hundred species of fish have Thai in their name in Japanese,、mm. but only a few of those are technically types of sea bream.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, familiar fish like Kimmedai、mm. are not really Thai at all.、Mm. That's very confusing. <laughs>、um, I was also surprised to hear that fish can actually get sunburnt、uh -huh. and、uh, go blacker in colour. But a tie with a tan is not so highly regarded. Well, I was surprised too.、Mm. Uh, that kind of meticulous care by the farmers shows 
how important uh, the appearance of the fish is. Mm, yes. Um, I heard that there are several reasons the Japanese have long been so fond of Thai besides their taste and colour, such as their handsome shape, their uh, sharp and impressive fins and their large hard scales. That's right. Mm. Uh, the fins and scales uh, resemble the armour and weapons used in the Kamakura period. Oh. Uh, so the samurai were very fond of Thai. I see. But I heard that uh, Thai bones are rather dangerous because they can get stuck in your throat. <laughs> That's true. Mm. However, when lightly grilled, the bony parts produce a, a good flavor, so they are excellent for making soup. Uh -huh. Well, uh, returning to the color of the fish, mm. red is not just a lucky color, but it's also believed to possess the power to ward off evil. Ah. And the name Thai uh, also suggests the term Medetai, meaning auspicious or joyous. Right. Um, Hiro, I have a question. Mm -hmm. The winner of a sumo tournament always holds up a tai yeah. at a ceremony with his supporters. Mm -hmm. But when there are two possible winners on the final day, do the stables of the contenders order a fish from the same fishmonger to avoid any waste? Ah, someone else once asked me that question before, so I know the answer. Ah. Uh. Apparently, the stable master mm -hmm. or supporters of each possible winner have to give an order independently to a different fishmonger. Mm. Uh, but the loser's stable doesn't cancel the order. Mm. They eat the fish anyway, oh. generally as sashimi or in a nabe hot pot. Well, that's good to hear. Otherwise, it would be more Thai? No! <laughs> you're right, you're sorry, right. Sorry, sorry. It's very funny. Sorry.